Okay, turning to the weather now, let's get back to that drought story. We're continuing to monitor Ohio's drought conditions. So take a look at your screen here. This is a map of the state showing which parts are being hit the hardest by this drought. And you can see the worst of it is mainly in the southeastern region of the state. Right now, the lack of rain is causing about 75% of the state to be under some sort of uh, drought uh, alert a level of drought and more than 40% of the state is dealing with severe drought conditions or worse and 22 counties are under a natural disaster declaration to help farmers get some financial relief and today farmers told 10 TV that rain may not help the crops at all. Well 10 TV meteorologist Michael Barons explains now what we really need to alleviate these drought conditions. Yeah, it's been extremely dry through the summer here in central Ohio. In fact, I want to take a look back at the numbers. It's been since May since we saw above normal rainfall for a month. That was about by an inch. Since then, it's been all downhill and very dry. June, over three inches under where we should be for rainfall, close to three inches in July and down another inch and three quarters in August. To put these numbers in perspective in some kind of tangible form, let's start with August then. There, that down inch and three quarters, if we were to take that amount of water, put it into the shoe, and not only would we fill that stadium once, we would fill it 300 times with the amount of rainfall that should have come down in Franklin County. If we were to take that number, expand it out through the entire summer, well, we would fill it over 1,300 times. That is a lot of water that we did not get across the region as we went through the summer, and that pattern continuing now into September. You might be tempted to say we should get a big rainfall and fix all this. Well, that would be bad news too. the soil moisture out there. So down, especially in southeastern portions of the state that if we were to see too much rain at once, it, the soil wouldn't be able to hold it all. We would be looking at possible flooding concerns. So what we do need to see is a prolonged period of steady rain. Unfortunately, it just doesn't seem to be in the forecast coming up later tonight, though. We're going to take a look at how this dry weather pattern could potentially impact our fall colors. More on that coming up tonight at five o'clock.